Hi everyone, this is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast and with me Elijah Free, Master Herbalist from Earth Friend. Today we're talking about adrenals. We have two formulas, one known as Adrenal Ease and the other one known as Cortisol Ease and we want to unpack the purpose and application for both. Hey Elijah. Hi Martin, good to see you again. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. I'm very grateful. Sure. Hey, so I keep telling people, why would you want to buy both? It's like putting one foot on the gas and the other foot on the brake. Is it not so? I call it like you want to kind of try to go north and south at the same time or left and right. It reminds me of a Bugs Bunny cartoon trying to do that. Um, these are formulas. Each one has something very, very specific. We'll do the adrenal first because that's a little easier to talk about. Everyone knows where their adrenals are, hopefully, but if not, they're twin organs which are right above your kidneys uh, and your, well, and behind here in your back. I guess the camera's not showing me pointing too much to my back on that, but that's where those are. Now, in our modern life, as one thing as it can be called, is there's something that happens in life that just absolutely exhausts us. Um, the adrenals are very important organs because they have a lot to do with our energy, how we present to the world, and so much. The adrenal formula has a few really great functions. One is you can just take it if you're under a lot of stress. It's a fabulous formula for stress. At that time, uh, you can take it a half an eyedropper three times a day, as it says on the bottle. Uh, one thing also, too, if you got, would like more information, uh, there's two ways to get that uh, on our products. One is if you go to our earthfriendherb.com, you'll find pages on each formula on that and how they work and suggestions and all kinds of cool things. The other one is to talk to Martin. Martin is one of the two most knowledgeable people on the planet about these products. So I really encourage you, you got a problem, you got a question, Martin can answer that for you. And if it's something Martin can't, then we're very happy to refer that back to me. So the adrenal formula on this, you could take this for low energy, you can take it if you're too hyper. So if you're having, say, like chronic fatigue or you're really tired, you're feeling adrenal exhausted, you've been through tremendous amounts of stress, you can't get out of bed, all those things, then what you do is you start off the day with a nice big full eyedropper of the adrenal formula. If you can't get a full one, take two halves. On that, sometimes they're real hard to fill up. You can do that every two to three hours for days on that until it reaches a saturation rate with your adrenals and then they'll start to kick in. Now, you can do that up to three or four days. I'm not talking, okay, weeks, months, or years. It would probably be harmless, but the point is at that point, if it's not doing that, okay, then that's the time you really need to see your doctor because there's something else going on besides just some adrenal exhaustion, just so we're all clear on that. But otherwise, that does a wonderful job. Now, if you have food cravings, <laughs> this is a good one. You're eating a lot of sugar, or you can't stop eating you know, salt. Salt is an adrenal food. Sugar is a um, uh, blood sugar food. On that is when you're craving that, take a whole extra eyedropper whenever you're doing that. So you could take an extra eyedropper three, four times during a 24 hour awake period on that. So that will help. Uh, if you wake at night, usually we suggest the cortisol formula for that. So we'll get to that one in a moment. So this one is when your adrenals are tired, when you need more energy. You can use it to go and play sports with even like that. You're going, oh, I'm gonna go run, take some adrenal formula. Uh, what I train and I run or lift weights, I always take adrenal formula first on that because it really, really, really gets me going nicely. However, are you ready for this weightlifters and trainers out there? When you're done, you take the cortisol formula because what happens when you're lifting weights? You build up cortisol. So this then actually will deplete the excess cortisol out of the muscles, which you can use then for athletic endeavors. So to start off with, you could take some of the adrenal to get you going, and then afterwards when you're finished, you could take some of the cortisol, for example. So those two can work in tandem that way, but generally you don't take them both at the same time. As Martin says, it's like a foot on the brake and a foot on the gas pedal. And so the adrenal ease is filling the bucket and the cortisol ease is draining it. Well, 
they're actually one's filling with something different and one's draining something different. But essentially, yes, I think that's a very apt way to put that. I may want to put that in our writer part. I like that. All right. So let's talk about the cortisol ease. I remember that you conceived it originally as the help for the uh, chronic stress, people who just have gone past the ability to cope with life and are now, I don't know, we shouldn't be mentioning medical definitions, but the uh, permanent stress state is what comes to mind. Well, I originally, I'm a veteran. Uh, I'm a war vet on that. I stayed stateside, but I'm actually a paramedic on it. I'm a trained combat medic is what my, uh, my first duty was uh, in uh, medicine, which is always kind of funny. Uh, with that, I mean, in a way, sort of, because that's where I learned all of my original basic medical stuff was in the military. So that one actually worked out. So I, I made this for my fellow veterans. Um, I was reading where that's how many vets every 24 hours kill themselves. And it just broke my heart with PTSD. So I created a formula that actually stops PTSD dead in its tracks, man. And what it does is it actually neutralizes the neurotoxins in the body. Now, a neurotoxin is a neurotoxin. Neurotoxins occur in nature all over the place. Box jellyfish, poison spiders, uh, rattlesnakes, and actually, <laughs> a little bit of herbal lore here from my background is the base for that was from proven to be able to actually work for rattlesnakes because I was stupid enough to, when I was very young, much younger, to get myself bitten by a rattlesnake. And um, I tested it. Uh, I let it actually run all up my arm and everything and tested it, and it worked perfect. So the basis of that can neutralize just about any neurotoxin on the planet as far as I'm concerned. So what that does, that's built into there because when I start to design, I ask questions. So the first question is, well, what's a neurotoxin? So you think of where they exist, I was mentioning, in the planet. Okay, they exist in the animal world and stuff. Well, cortisol in excess amounts acts like a neurotoxin, amazingly enough. So the first part of the formula just stops the neurotoxins dead in its track and neutralizes it. Zip. Take a half an eyedropper. That's not enough. Take some more. That doesn't work. Take some more. It always works. I haven't seen it not work. Is there a top end of how much a person should take before they give up? I wouldn't take more than four or five eyedroppers for the day. It's pretty harmless. You don't, if you're pregnant, of course, and you don't give it to kids. It says right on the label, so please don't do those things. But what happens is a lot of times is you just take a half an eyedropper, that'll take care of it. But when you're in an episode, now what's happening is this. Um, I wish I had one here to show you, but there's what's called an adrenal stress index test, which is a saliva test taken four times a day during a six, each six hours. That then will show what the cortisol is doing, going up or going down. Normally, the cortisol starts off low, and then as waking time six and seven happens, it comes up, then it starts to come down, it does this in the afternoon, then come up a little later, and then come down. But with spiking cortisol, you could see it look like this. It looks like, you know, a Richter scale with a major um, earthquake happening, which is sort of what's happening inside. And when that happens, that literally poisons the body with neurotoxins. Now, the thing that happens is the more neurotoxins, the more it keeps making. So it's like stuck. You know what I mean? It doesn't turn off. So literally, you can take the soldier out of the battlefield, but you can't take the battlefield out of the soldier until we made that. Right. It works so well. We were granted status for a nonprofit, bring our vets all the way home.org. We worked at it for two years and the government blew us right out of the water with the whole thing. The worst were the uh, VA and the absolute worst was, um, oh, wounded soldiers, wound, wounded warriors helped to knock that down. So it was really heartbreaking after two yeah. years of work. But unfortunately, the pharma unfortunately yeah. you're not a pharmaceutical company that's, no. lobbying, that's lobbying the Congress for yes. the flavors. And uh, they don't really, yeah, I, I don't even want to get too political with it. No, but but you, don't, you don't simply have the lobbying power and the government is not interested in, yeah. uh, in curing people. They just want them to go away. But if people would like to see the... Uh, what the project was, there's an amazing video. The video is also on Earth Friend. Uh, it's a half hour video. It was made by an award-winning uh, photographer, Sage Knowles, 
from Sony Productions. He was with Sony at the time, award-winning uh, musician Vicky Jen Fan did the music, and I wrote and produced and directed it and started it uh, with it. But you'll, you'll meet in there a gentleman named Sarge, and it'll just break your heart, the whole thing, that this never happened. So folks, please see this. It would be a lovely thing, but you better have a box of tissues. <laughs> All right, so, so cortisol is, is capable of breaking the cycle of this runaway... Yes. Runaway neurotoxin, if we want to, yes, what it is, and uh, it's it's sort of when when a person is stuck in this uh, OCD like mode where they are refiring the same memory over and over and just flooding the body with the excess cortisol. Are, are you affecting? The neural pathways or are you just simply discombobulating the excess cortisol? Well, we actually do a few things. It's a complex, a really complex formula. Uh, first of all, it neutralizes those in the body. So what it does then, the more that happens, the propensity to keep simultaneously recreating this in the chemical chain begins to diminish quite rapidly and quite profoundly. Now, I want to mention is you don't have to be a vet for it to work. You can be a person that has been abused in a relationship, a wife, a child, uh -huh. anybody, if you've been abused, if you've been beaten, anything, if you've whatever, pretty much most people on the planet could use this product these days. Um, it's a wonderful formula and I would just love it. It's one of our best selling ones. I find when people find it, it becomes a very good, uh, right. very, very good. I, I would like to say this, if you find yourself unable to go to sleep, or unable to let go of persistent thoughts, or unable to just, I mean, I have people who are working too hard too late into the night, and then they would like to go to sleep, but yes. find it too difficult. Wow. To take a nice large hit of cortisol is, and the uh, nonsense in their head stops. Yes, and a lot of times people keep it by their bed. Sometimes people have that, they wake up at the two and three in the morning, which is adrenal time. That's when you take another eye dropper or two and go right back to sleep uh, for that. So these, these frightful uh, wake-ups at two or three in, in the middle of the night, I, I hear a lot of people saying, number one, I cannot go to sleep, yes. but number two, I wake up and cannot go back to sleep. Yes, a lot of times it's inappropriately spiking cortisol, which should be on another end. If people took the adrenal stress index test, they would, they would actually see how that worked. All right. Okay, so does it do a permanent solution to this cortisol well, stress loop or not really? It's hard to say what permanent it is. I mean, it can help you so you're not having that. If you go back into a situation like that, obviously it will recreate. But again, it really depends on each person. You know, I've seen war veterans heal faster than I've seen women who have been, you know, really horribly abused growing up in a relationship. So it really depends a lot on the person, Martin, and inner work, and just, again, so many variables, you know, mm. on that. Well, um, the reason I asked the question that the way I did is, yeah. should a person expect to take it for a period of time and then be no longer needing it or needing less, or is it going to stay with them? Well, it would depend again on their situation. Okay, if everything becomes peaceful, then, you know, then you have the tranquility for the body to normalize. If you're still in that situation or something like it, you know, then it becomes a maintenance type of thing. Well, so that while you're in those stressful situations, this then, you know, actually helps you to maintain, you know, your sanity and health and everything. But if the situations are still going on, then it's a different type of thing. Like I said, it, you have now become tranquil, <laughs> so to speak. So again, we're back to individual situations. Great. Thank you very much, Elijah. This is Martin for Life Enthusiast, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Reach us at www.life-enthusiast.com. We do have a real customer service with real customer support. If you want to call, it's 866-543-3388. Thank you.